Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today in this video we will see the concept of inheritance in the Dynamics 365 Business Central Wave 2. Okay, so the very first thing is that uh, I'll click here and go to extensions. If you remember in my previous videos uh, we have created a custom extension in this company and name as change standard object and using this ex extension we have created a field in general ledger setup as master permission and whenever I click here it will prompt a message as welcome to AL world right so today we will make uh, the use of this field to write some more code in some different table okay so what we have to do is I'll create new project in the Visual Studio code select my business central version select my local host server and here I will change the authentication from user password to Windows and also mention the port as development port which is 8049 okay now uh, I'll delete this sample file okay uh, so the very first thing is that let let us download the symbols first to check if there is any error or not so symbols have been downloaded successfully okay now uh, I'll create one code unit okay and write here as and because I have as I have said uh, that I have to make the use of this field master permission and which is available in the general ledger setup so what I will do is I will uh, I will mention the variable as GL setup I am creating a new record variable of general ledger setup okay and let me mention my field name if gl setup dot master permission see uh, the field is not coming master permission in the gl setup table but if i look here i can clearly see that the field is available but still the field is not showing here so uh, what would be the reason behind it uh, to check that let us go to our app.json file and check this tab dependencies and here if you can see only two extensions uh, standard extensions uh, names are uh, mentioned here first is system application and second is base application so if I close this page and check my extension page so only this base application extension and the standard applic uh, standard system application extension is showing there but i i know that the field master permission does not belong to these two extensions but belongs to this extension so this means that i have to mention the details of this extension also in my app.json file so to mention the details I can see that I have to mention the app ID publisher name and version of it so for that I will select my extension click here and click on view to copy all the details like app ID publisher version and name of the extension okay? in that format so I have already made that and now I'll copy that and now what I will do is I'll go here 
and copy all the details of this uh, okay but sorry I think I have copied some different thing so what don't worry we have to copy the extension details again by going here as view just copy the app ID and paste it here now the publisher is default publisher so I'll mention here the name of the extension is change standard object so I will mention the name as standard object okay so now we have already mentioned our ex, uh, custom extension details here so rather than before writing our code again we first have to download the symbols again okay uh, this showing some error let me go again here in the launch.json file and click on download symbols again symbols have been downloaded successfully so now we can write code here so if I go here and type if gl setup dot master permission see the field is available now right true then message hello all right so control shift p again download symbols and everything is done all right so now what we can do is we can deploy this extension in the, in the system in the in our database and this is how we can use the inheritance concept in the AL programming language so whenever if you have to work on any other developers customization then you first must have to know the details of that extension and mention the details of that extension in the dependencies tab available in the app.json file okay then only you you can make the use of the fields of or, of the code which is available in some other extensions all right so thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button and hit the subscribe button also thank you so much